In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most simple bunch concepts year over year, but one of the most effective concepts in Madden year over year, and that is the play Flood out of the Gun Bunch Offset Formation. We're going to be able to show you today how this play is going to really become one of the, per what I call a perfect constraint theory uh, passing concept that will just keep your opponent honest. Uh, just in terms of how they are playing defense. And so I'm going to show you how to pair this play with a couple of other plays in the Colts bunch formation uh, to make it one of the best offenses in the game. Now, if you want to get my entire uh, Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. $10 will get you access to everything over at the Patreon page. Now, why is Flood so good? Flood is so good for a couple of reasons. But really the biggest reason is if you watch this real quick, I'm going to jump into a cover three and um, we have this high low on the right. Now, this high low is critical and flood is one of the few plays in bunch that consistently has a really good tight end flat route. So you'll see right here, I'm going to hot route this tight end to a flat. He's not going to run as fast and he's not going to have the best animations in terms of how he's going to run after the catch. And so because of that, um, this flat route to the tight end is really, really effective because they can't, they have to play hard flats to defend the tight end flat. Now, the beauty of that is if they jump down to the flat, then you'll see here, I don't know why Cromartie ran the longest out route of all time, but because Cromartie is on an out route as opposed to being on, let's say, for example, a corner, the route is going to react differently in terms of how the zone is going to play it. So you see right here, a cover three, even a press third, it's not going to be able to defend that. Now, what I want to show you is let's say they run a cover three um, and we put Cromarty on a corner route. What you're going to notice is this corner route is going to get bagged by that outside third defender, as you can see right there. And so this is really why I think Flood is one of the best concepts in the game because you you cannot run zone against it very well. So even a cover four drop, for example, what you'll see here is this deep out route. Even though there's an outside quarter, it's not going to be able to play it. Now, another thing that this, uh, this route combo does attack well is match coverage. A lot of people like to use match coverage to try to slow down bunch. Flood has been a really good counter for match for years, just because of the fact that if you watch how that route reacts um, to match, basically what's going to happen is even if they do play it properly, he's going to out leverage him and you can just freeform this to the right. And because it, it gets this really sharp cut, this route becomes very, very effective. Now, another thing that you could do with flood is you can also smart route this out route and make it go exactly 10 yards. You'll notice when I smart route this out route, um, it still gets that really nice sharp cut, and it's really difficult for the defense to be able to sit on this. Really the only zone um, that's going to play this is a true, either a true curl flat zone or like a Tampa two. But again, let's say they do run Tampa two, they're getting high load in the flat. We see they drop off that tight end and I can throw it. So you see the simple, check downs that we have with this play flood uh, to that right side. So now let's say, for example, that we run a double flat out of a cover two and it looks something like this. You're going to notice here that the tight end is taken away and then also that out route is taken away. So we kind of funnel and force our opponent to have to run a traditional double flatted cover two. The problem with a traditional double flatted cover two is now they are vulnerable to other things. One of the other things that they're vulnerable to is us just simply changing the depth and now running that corner route. What you'll see against this cover two is this corner route gets over the top of the cloud and it gets um, underneath of the deep half or it gets in, in separation with the deep half. So you really can't run zone against flood. Um, it's really, really good against zone coverage. It's really hard to defend this play in zone. One of the things they can try to do is if they play like a traditional cover three curl flat zone, that will get kind of deep enough to sometimes play that. Um, you can try to just freeform it all the way to the sideline like I just did. But the other thing that's really simple to do is just take your tight end route. He drifts back, you throw the tight end, turn up field, get your 10 to 15 yards, okay? 
Flood does such a good job because it high lows the flat. Now, the other benefit of Flood is, let's say, for example, that they're playing us um, in like press man to man. Okay, and we want to attack this this man to man coverage. So what we can do with this play is number one, bunch just in general. If you smart route this out route, you're going to see right here, um, pretty consistently going to beat man, especially with the short out elite or short and elite ability. He's going to get separation against man coverage. But the other thing that's really important, I think, to understand is this right here. So we're going to motion out this right side player and put him on a streak. What you're going to notice when we do this motion out is when they bump, the corner route will oftentimes run into the streak. But the beauty of the out route is it never runs the risk of running into the streak like a corner route does. And so it gives us really good spacing. So, for example, let's say we were to run this against zone. Just motion this guy out, put him on a streak, and then you can put your running back on a flat route to the backside. So now we're attacking the flats on both sides of the field. And then we also have this really nice deep out route that is not going to run into the player even if they're in zone. So let's say, for example, they're playing you in match or they're running match on you. This is a great way to counter match. So you motion this guy out. Now it comes back to basically delayed man coverage. And you see here that the out route's wide open. And then we can turn it up field and get you know several yards. So really the best way to defend flood is through you know man-to-man -man with two purples potentially and a user over the middle of the field. Now the problem that that can create is let's say that we start to catch on to that. One of the other things we can do is on a backside we can run a C route. Um, the beauty of this is the C route will give us separation if they're running a lot of man. And so you can kind of start to piece together based off of what they're doing. But Flood truly has been one of the best plays in Madden for years because really the best way to defend it is what I'm showing you right here, where they have a cloud flat on the outside, and then maybe here they have you know something like this, then with the user in the middle of the field. The user has to use the in route, and this is why an out route to the running back is really effective, because occasionally that route will beat man coverage, but you also have this backside in route that you can throw that's really effective against uh, zone or uh, against man coverage as well. So, you know, really, as you can see here, you know, we're really versatile against man and zone. They have to have to defend over in this area. So let's say you get like a, a drop eight man concept. You're looking at the flat early. OK, they don't go on him. I could throw my flat early. Right. And you start to see how this play can really force them to have to come underneath and play you. Now, the beauty of this is then we could go to a setup like this at a bunch trail where we have an out a bench concept and it looks quasi similar to flood, maybe even motion this guy out. But now you have the backside guy on a skinny post. That's going to be a little bit more effective at beating main coverage if they're putting thirds out there to stop a C route. So flood is an extremely, extremely important play to have in your offense and having something like flood really to just kind of keep the defense honest is very, very important. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire bunch offensive ebook or Colts offensive ebook that includes tight slots, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so. You can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and going and clicking the link down below.